hey guys, here is an example answer for you on the changes to the answer. Here we need to be thinking about how the surface and the atmosphere of the Earth have changed from how they were when the Earth was first formed. So how the current atmosphere is different to the early atmosphere. So there are a number of different gases we need to think about when we're talking about this. So first of all, everyone's hopefully favourite gas, oxygen. So oxygen wasn't around in the early atmosphere. Oxygen developed because of plants and the process that plants use photosynthesis. The plants use the abundance of carbon dioxide around and they underwent photosynthesis and turned it into oxygen. So moving on to carbon dioxide. Now, in the beginning, there was a lot of carbon dioxide, and as the oceans formed, the carbon dioxide dissolved in some of the oceans. As things um, were growing, they took in some of the, as plants were growing, they took in the carbon dioxide and then when the plants died or they got eaten, it got passed down the, the carbon cycle and the carbon got locked up. And it got locked up into sedimentary rocks. And into the um, the coal and the oil that we have as fossil fuels today. Now, if we think about the water vapor, that was in the early atmosphere. When the um, earth cooled, it started to rain, and oceans were formed. So that's where the oceans came from, which leads back up to the carbon dioxide because as the oceans were forming, um, the carbon dioxide was dissolving in those oceans. Now, if we think about the structure of the Earth, we started off with Pangaea. And because of all the um, convection currents going on in the mantle, things moved around and we had continents being formed. And because of all these continents forming, rubbing against each other, we are also going to be seeing um, a change in the structure of the Earth. So we're going to be getting a crust, we're going to be um, losing the volcanoes which started spewing out all of the carbon dioxide in the beginning. Um, other things the volcanoes started spewing out were nitrogen in the form of ammonia. So I always tell my students that I imagine that the early atmosphere smelt like a combination of eggy farts and really old baby nappies because there's going to be a lot of ammonia in there which really, really stinks. So the ammonia is going to turn into the nitrogen which makes up the majority of this uh, current atmosphere. So if this comes up, it's a really, really lovely six mark question, but you really need to think carefully about exactly what it's talking about. There is um, a big tendency here to start talking about how carbon dioxide is changing at the moment, how it's increasing, but you need to think about how it changed from the beginning to now. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I really hope you found this video helpful. If you want to say thank you or if you want access to my online classroom priority video requests or to the books I'm publishing, you can pop over to Conos or keep up to date with everything on my website. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything. And if you follow me on Twitter or like me on Facebook, you'll get all the updates there. Thanks for watching, guys. I really hope you found this helpful. 
anything else you need, any other help you need, just let me know below.